Casper ML. This is the work that we present on the TPS 2021. With Casper ML, we propose resilient and verifiable federated learning against Byzantine colliding attacks. These are the authors of this work. George Kamohua, Ranga Bandar, Peter Foyti, Priyanka Agrawal, and Shatin Chetty. First of all, I will give a brief introduction about me. I am Eranga Bandar, working as a senior research scientist at BMAS, Virginia, US. We involved with various research on blockchain, distributed systems, cybersecurity, machine learning, and federated machine learning areas. One of our main motivation of doing, re doing research is we always try to do research and uh, enable or integrate these research into real world application. So Casper ML is one such uh, real world application platform that we have integrated uh, one of our research. This is me, I am available on Twitter. If you want, uh, we can talk via Twitter as well. Okay, uh, now let's look at some background information. First about the federated learning. Federated learning is a decentralized machine learning model. There's a multiple clients are there. They have their own data storage with data set. They can build uh, their own local models. There's a central aggregator who can average these local models and generate global models. So what client do is client generate local models uh, with their own data set and share this local model to the server. Then server average this uh, local model into global model. Then resend that uh, average global model to client. Then client again train it uh, and send the result back to the server. Server aggregate them and generate the global model. This uh, iterate to several rounds until getting the uh, better uh, threshold global model. Basically, a network of nodes shares models rather than train data with server. Server has untrained model and sends a copy to each client. Client has untrained model and uh, local data set. Each client trains the model based on its data. Each node sends a copy of its trained model back to the server. Server combines this model and resend to the client. Basically, server average this model and generate global model. Process is repeated for a number of times. Uh, server has model that captures data characteristics of each client. That's the federated learning. There are some advantages in federated learning. Uh, it preserves users' data privacy as no data is shared. Uh, users' data always kept with user. Uh, unlike traditional, uh, traditional learning systems, users' data don't need to be shared with a central authority. Can uh, withstand massive number of clients with limited availability, hence unequal amount of clients data. These are the major advantages of federated learning. Uh, federated learning can be identified as a dis distributed machine learning model, which is designed to address the privacy issues on the centralized learning system. Traditional ML systems deal with centralized uh, component. All the data need to be submitted to central party to build the models. With uh, federated learning, data can be keep with a decentralized network. Instead, we can generate a model and only model can be shared with central authority to average. The most of the existing federated learning systems deal with centralized coordinator, which is are vulnerable to attack and privacy breaches. All the model averaging aggregation happens in the central component in uh, normal or traditional federated learning systems. During the learning process, unreliable model updates performed by Byzantine colliding parties can lower the quality and convergence of the ML models. Uh, discovering vulnerable, uh, verifiable local model updates such as integrity or correctness and trusted parties in federated become crucial due to this reason. With this research, we propose a resilience and verifiable federated learning algorithm based on reputation scheme to cope with unreliable parties. We develop a model selection algorithm with blockchain-based multi-party learning architecture instead of uh, traditional uh, centralized uh, aggregator in federated learning. We have a decentralized aggregation uh, with multiple peers. It's act as a consortium uh, of aggregators. Local model updates are securely exchanged and verified without a central party. 
proposed in our loading scheme to ensure our proposed approach is resilient up to 50% Byzantine colony attacks in the malicious scenarios. These are the major contributions of this work. Now let's look at the system overview. This is the high level overview. There are two main parties in the system, uh, blockchain consortium peers or blockchain peers and external clients. Uh, we maintain two uh, blockchain ledgers to keep local models. We keep on one ledger uh, or one chain and global models in uh, all the average, average global models. We keep on uh, another chain. Two main types of entities, external clients and blockchain consortium peers. Clients reside external to the blockchain consortium. They have their own data set. They can build their uh, local models with that data set and submit the local models. Uh, then aggregate or blockchain consortium peers aggregate the global models based on the algorithms. The aggregated global models can be uh, get back to the clients. Blockchain consortium peers reside in the blockchain network, do model validation with their own data set and global model aggregation. The main thing here is uh, all the consortium peers also have their own data set. They validate the client's model against this data set. Two chains in the ledger, local model chain and global model chain. <clears throat> now let's look at the functionality. There are main Four functions in the system, client submit local models, peer validate submitted models, that means blockchain consortium peers. They measure accuracy of the uh, client's models. Lead elections of the blockchain consortium, then global model aggregation. Now let's look at uh, detailed information about these uh, each and every steps. First, clients submit their trained models. Clients can train a model using their data set based on the meta uh, parameters associated with the federated model. Then the local model trained by the clients get stored on the shared storage, which can be accessible by the consortium peers. Then local model can be submitted to the blockchain consortium as a transaction. Transaction contains basically local model URI. Clients basically generate a local model and update that local model into the shared storage and transact this uh, model information to the blockchain ledger as a blockchain transaction. Blockchain transaction contains basically model URI and some parameters. We provide web-based application for clients to submit their local model updates as well. Clients who have permission to access the web portal can submit their local models to the blockchain consortium via this web portal. Client can also utilize the web portal to get the latest global models as well. Second thing is peer validate or measure the accuracy score of the local models. Blockchain consortium peers retrieve the local models stored on the shared storage. Basically, clients uh, build the local model and publish these local models to the shared storage, then uh, transact those information to the blockchain ledger. When executing this transaction by the peers, they take the all local models updates stored on the shared storage. Then the accuracy of the local models is scored using the peers local data set. Each peer will score each local model and transact to the blockchain ledger. Basically what do is uh, peers take the local model of the clients. They measure the accuracy of this local model by using their own data set. The accuracy score will be calculated and it transact to the blockchain ledger with the model ID and the accuracy score. Basically, peers generate transaction with model ID and score and submit it to the ledger. Then third thing is, next thing is lead election on the blockchain consortium. After a period of time specified by the consortium, the system will activate the global model generation process or global model aggregation process. A leader will be selected from the participating peers based on the private permission consensus protocol. The, there's a multiple peers in the consortium. The leader will be selected based on the consensus algorithm. Uh, the, then leader will uh, handle all the global model average functions. We utilize SAP uh, on Kafka base, uh, SAP consensus on Kafka as the consensus protocol uh, in this environment. 
then the leader will be select best scored models based on the threshold established by the consortium. There's a, a model threshold established between consortium members. Uh, leader, what does this leader built out inaccurate models and uh, average the accurate models into the global model. Let's see how it works. Leader generate global models. The leader will average local models and generate global model to complete the federated learning process. Then once uh, generate the global model, a block will be generated with the global model and submitted to the ledger. The global model will be stored on the shared storage as well. Then all participating peers can now retrieve the global model and compare the hash of the global model uh, with the model download from the shared storage to ensure it has not been altered since its creation. So basically, once generated the global model by the leader peer, it's submitted to the uh, global chain and store the global model in the shared storage. Then this global model will be available for other peers as well as clients. If we summarize these steps, so this is how it looks like. There's a multiple clients in the network. There's a message broker, which uh, can use to communicate with the blockchain consortium. There's a multiple peers in the blockchain consortium. Clients generate uh, local models uh, and submit transaction with the local model information. Then uh, all the peers consume this transaction. Basically this transaction contains more local model URI and some other information. Then validate the transaction. Then what it does is each peer have their own local data set. They run the ML model against their own local data set and measure the accuracy, basically the evaluation. Then transact the model evaluation result to the ledger. They generate a transaction with the model ID and the model score and transact to the ledger. Then later election process will be happen. Uh, leader will be chosen. So leader is the responsible party to generate the global model with averaging local models. So then it uh, leader will generate the block as well. In global model generation, it filled out inaccurate models based on the uh, model threshold uh, confirmed between the blockchain consortium peers and generate global model. The, then it generate block with the global model and published to the ledger. Then other peers can take uh, that block and get the global model information. So then they can verify the global model uh, and the uh, global block. Now everything is finalized with the chain consortium side. Then the published global model can be fetched by the clients and use it. So that's how uh, high level high level functionality works. Threat model. In here, it resilience for collision attacks. Uh, it has verifiable schema to cope with unreliable parties by uh, grading or validating the models. Only high reputation models are uh, selected to prevent the model colliding. We ignore locality model updates. Example, malicious parties can send random model param models with random model parameters. This can be uh, models can be detected and uh, filled out. And we stop label flipping attack with attacks as well. So parties sets all their train training data, sample labels to zero. Prevent sign flipping attacks, each malicious party flips the signs of their uh, send messages. So these kind of can attacks can be mitigated by using this consortium network. Implementation. We have done an implementation of this system uh, on top of blockchain. Uh, the system built with microservices based architecture. There are multiple blockchain peers in the system. Uh, each blockchain peer contains two services, federated machine learning service and storage service. All the federated learning model averaging, averaging functions implemented on top of federated learning service. Storage service also stores can be used to store the, all the global model information and local model information. It's an off-chain storage to the ledger. We have a peer-to-peer -peer communication between uh, Blockchain nodes, we use Kafka based uh, stream mechanism to handle the peer to peer communication. Let's look at more information. Each blockchain node contains two services federated machine learning service and storage service. Federated machine learning service implemented with PyTorch and PySwift based Python libraries. We build various uh, 
CNN, MLP kind of algorithms uh, as well as anomaly detection algorithms uh, on top of this system. Storage service uh, store all the off-chain storage of the ledger. It can be used to store uh, model information, global model information, and any off-chain uh, information. We use Apache Cassandra-based storage for the off-chain storage. Apache Kafka used as a message broker of the platform. Platform implemented on top of Rasa blockchain. All the ledger functionality is implemented on top of Rasa. Rasa is another research work that we have done in the blockchain and distributed systems areas. Uh, with Rasa, we are trying to align blockchain capabilities with highly scalable enterprise level application. Rasa is a highly scalable enterprise level application, which mainly targeted for enterprise applications such as big data, IoT, cloud computing, or banking finance kind of applications. Uh, the federal learning functions uh, implemented on top of smart contract. Rasa blockchains comes with uh, functional programming and actor based concurrent transaction enable app plus smart contract platform. All the uh, federal learning functions and other functions implemented on top of app plus smart contracts. We develop this platform by using microservices based architecture. The services support to deploy with Docker Kubernetes based container orchestration system. That's the main details of the implementation of Casper ML platform. Okay, uh, that's it from my side. If you have any questions, uh, we can discuss them now. Okay, thank you very much for your valuable time.